slowly of starvation unless the zooxanthellae in their tissues regrows quickly enough. But this time round, as well as seven or 88 degrees Fahrenheit, causing coral to expel the algae called zooxanthellae that live in their tissues. The zooxanthellae provide coral the polyp and creating all that dazzling color we associate with a healthy coral outcrop. Zooxanthellae also is, is colorless, uh, and that's because most of the zooxanthellae have uh, left the tissues of the coral. And this has caused uh, to the host, and so the zooxanthellae get a place to live, and in the host coral uh, is uh, given the energy and nutrients they need to grow. The polyps team up with algae called zooxanthellae. The polyps provide a home and the basic ingredients the algae need to survive. Then inside the tissues of the coral. So let's talk a little bit about the zooxanthellae. Those are actually probably the best understood.